Let's go! Wait, wait, why, why did I press new game? <laughs> Actually, I mean, I know, technically. Yeah, why doesn't Shaw voice Young Edgeworth? What, what if we make Shaw voice Young Edgeworth? That'd be funny. Actually, yeah. I'm not, I'm not Young Edgeworth. I'm just... <laughs> just like CL friend of mine. <laughs> I'm not playing... Yeah, like went through puberty really late. Oh, there we go. His voice is really high-pitched. I'm getting straight into it. Go, 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 go. His voice is really high-pitched. That's why. That's why. His voice is so high-pitched. Wait, it's me? Yeah, 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 you. Oh, the piece of cloth that she conjured up to was taken too many years ago. <laughs> you can hear the stress in her voice. Can I take one karma then? Huh? You have one karma. No, I'll, I'll take one karma. Okay. <laughs> Actually, wait. Oh, I thought it was a child, Edgeworth. Not... <laughs> Who's taking this guy? It was... It's you. It's a, it's a JPEG. JPEG, sorry. Yeah, that's right. I get it. I asked the defendant, just what exactly are you trying to say? Oh, you get it? Oh, no, you're trying to get me. I'm the guy to you. Oh, Pearly, what are you doing here? <laughs> but it's Pearly. I'm British. I'm British, Pearly. The guy to arrest you is the man standing over there at the prosecutor's bench. Are you saying that I'm the guy to Well, you dare deny it. You told me to kill him when you stopped into the embassy. He's so cute. I'm claiming that he's the he's the ball. Objection, <laughs> Mr. Well. I think we've heard. I think we've heard just about enough of you. Your Honor, please listen to me. I'm telling the truth. You gotta get creative. You can be creative. I <laughs> Let's get creative. Defendant, what's your favorite uh. idea? In accordance with the defendant's accusation. A new prosecutor shall be called to replace Mr. Faraday. This court will be in recess until the new prosecutor is ready. <laughs> Wait, am I actually voicing Young Edward for you guys? Let's go. No, because it has to be squeaky, right? Or what do you? Because, because I, I'm gonna be the the woman defend it. I'm gonna be the attorney, so there has to be like someone else, you know, just to make it. What do you think, Julia? What do you think? Uh, Shall's concern is no, up. I think we're gonna... You do take it, Daniel. You do take it, Daniel. Okay. Yeah, because it, it would be annoying if I would just voice everyone. All right. <laughs> Today's the show again! It's Today's almost time for me to enter the courtroom. <laughs> no, no, it's not going to be that high. It's almost time for me to enter the courtroom. And so it's it so is young. that my first assignment as a prosecutor will be... As a replacement for a prosecutor who has been accused by the defendant. Oh my goodness. Uh, my, 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 my accent was good for like one day. One day passes, <laughs> it's shit. I have to regain my British. You have to regain your British. Yeah. Oh, it's Von Karma. Uh, JPEG, do you want to hey, take it? Into it. Ha, ha, ha. Oh. Easy. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, sir. Actually, wait. What? Someone take this guy for now. I need to do. Okay. Yes, stuff. Ah, you okay. you take a cha. <laughs> have you read over? Um, have you read over all the documents regarding the trial? Yes, sir. I memorized everything there is to know. Oh my God, it's so bad. Yes, sir. I memorized everything there is to know. Very good. Like, I have a theory. Hmm. Edward had an American accent when he was young, but then he developed it after being under von Karma. I don't know. <laughs> I think that makes but sense. Isn't von Karma German? Yeah, but he's European. I don't know. <laughs> okay, never mind. German. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait. How, how does JPEG does it? I'm just like, blah blah blah. It's working. It's working. Yay! Let's go. We have a backup. Wait, uh, we have a backup, JPEG, ladies and JPEG, gentlemen. Do, you, do your impression of one karma. All right. I'll, no, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take him. Now that it's working. Okay. 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 Uh, All right. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Woo! Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> the paperwork, the prosecution substitution is just about to complete. Ah. One prosecutor. One. Sorry. Edward, always bear in mind that I am your mentor. I, Manfred von Karma. No, no, no. We accept nothing short of perfection. I understand, sir. To have the chance to stand in court at such an early stage in my career. Uh, uh, I am honored and proud. As I've watched over your studies, I'm giving this a rare chance. Wait, proud is like gay? Hmm? Pro oh, you said he's proud. Oh. The pathetic lies into oblivion. Ah, ah, ah. Hmm. Yes, sir. 
That's such a legendary prosecutor is watching over and judging my performance. <laughs> I have to be perfect in any way. Every way. Now, you wanted me to do something? Let's do it. Right, give him the badge, careful. Yeah, I will, I will, I will. I won't, I won't speed through this. <laughs> the trash has ended in just one minute. Because the defendant was picked up by the security camera, correct? Exactly. I don't know. Guys, how, how's my British mm -hmm. accent? Should I just go for an American one? Because I'm literally, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely struggling here. What do you think? Um, then just say with an American one. Okay. The killer had the gall to say that he only killed because he was instructed to do so. Ha ha ha. Even more outrageous, his claim that the case prosecutor, Ben Faraday, gave the order. Ha ha ha. Ah, Faraday is such a fool, a foolish fool. <laughs> He's been cornered by his very own prey. Sir, are you an acquaintance of Mr. Byrne Faraday? Hmm, but he's a pathetic man who speaks nothing but nonsense. It's me. Nonsense? Wait, why are you Italian? <laughs> Change his accent, <laughs> mamma mia. Hey, what was trying, trying to make punish me, those who cannot be brought to court. See, this is what I meant by European, Shah. He's not any specific European race. It's just all European. But Von Kar if, if Von Karma, like the girl from Tiska, is oh, yeah, German. She's, no, she's German. <laughs> no, m m Mr. Von Karma is worldwide. Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> Mr. Worldwide, ching ching. Those who cannot be brought to court. That is nonsense, for no man is above the law. Well, uh, there is always a few exceptions. However, there's no reason to even deal with such individuals. A prosecutor is a guardian of the court, one with no obligation to outside matters. Thus, there is no reason to deal with such individuals. I see. Edgeworth, disgracing yourself as Faraday has not... will not be forgiven. Have no fear. I will not let you down, sir. In place of the accused prosecutor Byron, Byron Faraday, I'll prove the defendant's guilt. Very good. I have secured an hour of recess for you to prepare to do just that. Hour? Show them all the power of on karma. Show them the badge! Uh, okay. Show them the badge. Oh. Show them the badge. Show them the badge! That's my badge. Why did I press check? You looked at it. I know. <laughs> Look at it. Mm. Okay. It is thanks to you that I have finally become a prosecutor, sir. It's amusing that you wanted to become a defense attorney yet became my student. <laughs> It is a strange path you have traveled. It's true that I had once wanted to become a defense attorney, but now I am honored and proud to become a prosecutor. I see. Then as a student of mine, I suggest that you remember this well. The prosecutor's badge is not to be flaunted. The dignity of a prosecutor lies in the man himself, not in the badge. I understand. <laughs> I will keep that in mind. Yeah, don't show your badge, you fucking loser. <laughs> By the way, why are there holes in your garments? It's simply preposterous. Prosecutors must also take pride in their appearance. I will keep this in mind as well. I am constantly having to remind the others at the prosecutor's office of this. <laughs> it's more fashionable to keep your prosecutor's badge in your pocket. In other words, always treat a prosecutor's badge with with care and honor. I understand, sir. All right. Yeah, right. totally not yes, with trickery and traitory. Yeah. Exactly. I guess his decision to wear the defense attorney badge makes more sense. Like in the future. So. Have you achieved a firm understanding of the case? Yes, sir. I have memorized everything that is written down in the case files. Well then, explain the case to me. <laughs> I want to see if you really know what you're talking about. Understood. Now now I see how why his outfit is so tacky. Because of Von Karma. Yeah, right? <laughs> a murder was committed on a September 8th in front of the Kodopian Embassy. The victim, Mr. Dade Mann, was a staff member at the, em at the embassy. The defendant in this case, Mr. Mackerel. <laughs> <laughs> Mackerel. <laughs> was wait, 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 that that was the fun you like, not the other fun? The other fun is great. The died? One? The one with the the one if you treat the eye and the E it's died. Huh? Died man. The, the other dude. Oh, the His other name dude. was Died Man. Really? Yeah, oh, died man. I didn't I didn't notice. <laughs> was held for questioning the night of the incident as he was deemed suspicious. He was quickly placed and arrested for possession of the murder weapon, a gun. Furthermore, at the time of the murder, the great thief Yatagarasu had successfully infiltrated the Kodopian embassy as well. At first, Rel claimed that he himself was the Yatagarasu, but that he did not kill Daidman. Oh. See? Daidman, dead man. Di oh. <laughs> 
I wonder what he expected to gain from such a desperate lie? It's possible that he wants to go down while, the spotlight, while in the spotlight if he is found guilty. Uh, there is truly no limit to people's inanity. Inanity? Inanity. Uh, but I digress. Continue, Edgewood. Yes, sir. During the trial, the prosecution presented the security footage that captured the murder. The footage clearly shows Mr. Rell as the murderer. The act of Mr. Rell firing the gun could have clearly seen the visitor's gallery. Upon seeing that, the defendant reenacted his statement and admitted to the murder. I did it because I was told to by the real Yatagarasu, Byron Faraday. Hmm, that sounds about right. However, you've forgotten one thing. Uh. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. While this may appear to simply be the murder of a Kadopian Embassy staff member, people are actually referring to it as the second KG, KG-8 incident. The second mm. KG-8 incident? I'm very sorry, okay, someone sir. Someone else take one, Carmen. I need to deal with something. Hold up. I fear I failed <laughs> to study hard enough. Well, even among the police, it's, info it's information that only a selected few are privy to. Could you please enlighten me, sir? This is just like, one comment which is voice is quicker than what Not know, only does his like. accent change, his voice keeps changing as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> sir, what do you mean by the second KG-8 incident? In, or uh, in order for me to tell you that, you must first learn about the original case. Take a look at those documents. This is a three-year-old newspaper. All right. I'm gonna make you more of a grandpa. You've heard of the, you have heard of the Armano group scandal before, correct? Yes, I have. The secretary of Ernest Armano, the Armano group's director, was arrested under suspicious under suspicion of smuggling. Correct. This is gonna be the weirdest case ever. Sisi Hugh was an employee of the Amano Group. And the sole witness to the snuggling operation. Snuggling? It was she who snuggled. No, 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 let's keep it a snuggling. I like snuggling. Snuggling operation. It was she who brought the crime to light. However, Miss Yao was silenced before she could testify in court. Wasn't a Kotopian Embassy staff member arrested for the murder? Yes, a, con a Kondumpian by the name of Manny Kochan? Kochan, I guess. Kochan! Manny Kochan. Manny Kochan. Manny Kochan? <laughs> what, what, what's, 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 what's the pun there? I don't know. Manny Co Coachman? Manny Kochan. Manny. Manny Kochan. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Where's the system? However, how the, however, due to lack of evidence, the case went unresolved. Lack of evidence? I, I cannot do this. Huh. If only I was in charge of the case. Why? So you could fabricate it? Yes. I would have done everything in my power to prove his guilt. Manfred I'm not Fala. gonna. I'm, I hate this. Doing this. Now, now I get how you feel doing edge work. Right. <laughs> to make sure that all my criminals are found guilty, my mentor really is dedicated. Forday was the prosecutor on the case then, and he was pathetic as ever. Uh, Mr. Faraday was in charge of the KG-8 incident as well? That's right. And now, once again, the victim of the case you are currently assigned to was someone who was scheduled to testify against the snuggling organization. Snuggling? snuggling. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. It's just like that. It's just like that last time. He snuggled time. him to death. I snug what? He <laughs> snuggled him to death. Oh no. What a way to go. The victim was murdered right before he was to testify. You're catching on. You know, I'm going to try to go, Grandpa. Okay. You're catching on. The victim was murdered just before his day in court against the snuggling organization. Events are occurring almost exactly the same way as they did in the key KJ-8 accident. So that's why it is being called a second KG-8 incident? Well, yes. There's one difference between the two incidents. 
What would that be? So-called noble thief that is sending everyone to an uproar. The great thief, Yatagarasu. Yatagarasu? I'd better find out more. If it is true that the Yatagarasu showed up at the Kodopian embassy, what could he or she have been after? <clears throat> Not that you see any suspicion according to records and release them publicly. Uh, sir, what happened to your voice? <laughs> or uh, more likely to see the secrets on the Kodopian embassy itself. Since the item that the Yatagarasu stole from there was sent to the police. What was it that the Yatagarasu sent to the police? <clears throat> I, I, I don't know the details. Anything related to the Yatagarasu is getting top secret treatment. Still, I find it very, very ironic. By restraining the, stole, the stolen item by the, to the police, it was proved positive that the Yatagarasu had invaded the embassy on the same day and the staff member was killed. Criminals have a way of incriminating themselves, wouldn't you say? That would have to be the first time the Yatagarasu has left evidence behind, correct? Yes, indeed. Uh, sir? If you, wish to, <laughs> if, you wish, if you wish to learn more about the Yatagarasu, then I suggest you ask Faraday. Mr. Faraday? <clears throat> he happens to be the prosecutor, instead of the Yatagarasu case as well. He's the prosecutor in charge of both the KG-8 incident and the Yatagarasu case? Mr. Faraday really has a lot on his plate. <gasps> oh, oh my god! You do it! What? what is it, little girl? Uh, do you wanna do it? You're scary, mister! Oh, you can't, I can't do it. You're scary, You gotta mister. go like this! You're scary, mister! I don't, it's, it's, not, it's not convincing. <laughs> I can't do a high voice. You're scary, mister! <laughs> Did you need something? Um, I, I want to trade those coins with you. A fistful of dimes, quarters, and pennies. But it looks like you've exactly a dollar. Is this what you want? Mm-hmm. Thanks. That's exactly what I needed. La, 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 la. Could that child be here to watch the tribe? How disrespectful for a child like that to be running around inside the courtroom. <laughs> Does no one have any respect for the country's judgmental system anymore? Uh. Well, uh, oh, what was that? You take it. The paperwork for the prosecutor's substitution is complete. Isn't he the... Um, wait, isn't he the Filipino one? Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> Why, why do you? Uh, why you? Do you even know how much time there is left before the trap resumes? I, 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 I'm so sorry, Pa. I, oh. I can have you mopping up the courtroom instead of protecting it in an instant. It's no bother. It's no bother, sir. Not being completely prepared could prove to be a perfect handicap for me. A proud one you are. You had better collect the evidence before I try and prepare yourself. It's time for you to debut that with <coughs> the correct. <laughs> I returned. <laughs> Please, Jason, take him what? away from me. What? Take what have I missed? Uh, Did I miss anything? She's My struggling downfall. with the. <laughs> Now what is going on? Why isn't Faraday here yet? <laughs> How is it possible that the defense is not prepared yet either? Bailiff, where is Mr. Faraday? I, I'm not sure. I wasn't really paying attention. Ah, it's him! He has legs! Where's the jury? <gasps> he has oh legs. my god! Ah. He has legs. Is not another body? You must be the one Mr. Von Karma recommended. I hear this will be your first trial. I look forward to seeing how you perform. Oh, by the way, there was there someone celebrating a birthday during the recess? I could have sworn I heard a popper going off. Oh. Come to think of it, the other day with my grandson. Sir, it looks like the trial is just about to resume. 
However, yes, it will be all. It, yes, it will be all but impossible to prove. Improve the witness is a liar. <laughs> we have to face the science of evidence without from Verde. I can't read. What is this blasted buffoon up to? This is the. Who's this? It's an emergency, sirs. Yeah, yes, oh, give give gumshoe. <laughs> It's me! Silence! <laughs> it's me! There is no yelling in the second court of law! <laughs> Bailey, please remove that man from the courtroom at once. He's probably very poor. <gasps> please! Please wait! You have to listen to me. There's an emergency. Defendant lobby number two. Mr. Faraday and the defendant. The two of them, they're, they're both dead, Your Honor. Whoa. What? What? The heck? what? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was I. I killed them. Yay! Yay! Whee! No more weenies. <laughs> no more weenies. <laughs> Stay back. Oh, uh. Whoa. <laughs> Badass. Hey. <laughs> okay. Who's taking this? Who's taking this? I'll take this guy. Okay. Mm, no one's allowed in the crime scene, period. Oh my god, he sounds like a biker. It's That's me. perfect. It's me. Batman. It's, it's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Just who does this audible think he is? A freak? <laughs> this is becoming quite your hot spot. Isn't he Mr. Rell's defense attorney? It's me! Hey you! No running in the hallway, pal! But you just... And who are you to tell me what to do? I'll never find out what's going on like this. It's time for some civil discourse. I want to talk to Gumshoe first. Wait, oh wait, before that, before that, before that, before <laughs> that. Look at the window, look at uh, the window. Look at the... What is that? Is that fucking ants? Is that fucking <laughs> ants? This sofa looks like it's seen its fair share of views. And it looks like <laughs> another part of the courthouse is visible from the window. Ah, my eyes have locked with the reflectant eyes in the barred window. <laughs> As a student of Von Karma, I refuse to back down. What? Uh, I won. Is it in the middle of the air? Like, fuck you. Yeah, he's like, fuck you, ants. <laughs> fuck <laughs> you, ants. He hates ants so much. Psst. Come show. Hello. It's me. You're so close. I don't know who you are yet. <laughs> who the hell are you? And you are? Who are you? Yeah, you look ugly. It. Who, me? Hey, pal. <laughs> It's common courtesy to tell someone your name first before asking theirs. Uh, point taken. My name is Miles Edgeworth. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a district prosecutor. A prosecutor? I've never seen a prosecutor as young as you, pal. I've told you my name. Now would you mind telling me yours? No, fuck you. Detective Dick Gumshoe. I just recently achieved my dream of becoming a detective. More than a dream. It's what I was born to do. Wait. Maybe I should check up and make him not, re not really into a crazy dream first. <laughs> this detective is entirely too excited to be at a crime scene. Murder scene. One day I'll, I want to be a wizard. <laughs> yes, he does. So, Detective Gumshoe, would you, mind telling me, would you mind telling me what you know about the incident? You know what I don't have to, I don't, you know I don't have to tell you anything, right? I know that, but it would, be, it would behoove you to fill me on in what you know. Wow, you're really a proud one for such a youngster, aren't you? Well, anyway, Detective Bad is the one in charge. So, you're just gonna have to ask him for all the details, okay? As for me, I was guarding this door to the defendant lobby number two. Hmm, so you were the guard detail. Did you not, did you notice anything strange while you were on duty? Well, I freaked out when I heard a gunshot, and then I kind of froze. Your detective and a oh, that was the gunshot scared you that much? Then again, I can hardly claim to not know what it's like to hear one at close range. Then Detective Bad came running to the scene. We went into lobby number two together and both men were lying there dead. Oh, I just realized that's what the judge meant by party poppers. That's what I said. <laughs> that's what you mentioned that? How is it that I block yeah. off everything that Shah says? It's like, I, it's like I'm selective you're, you're sexist. You're sexist. Not, that's why. Sometimes I don't listen to you either. I, listen to, <laughs> I don't listen to anyone. No, no, no. You listen to me unconsciously, and then, like, in your subconscious, you're like, oh, wait, I heard that before. Let me give that idea out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's like deja vu. Is that deja everything? vu. 
<laughs> yeah, that's it. I was in the hallway the whole time, but I didn't hear a single beep of a struggle. Interesting. Other than the gunshot, he didn't hear a single sound of commotion. That's me! Commotion? My testimony! No, my testimony! Dum -dum. <laughs> Yay! Hey. Psst. Psst. Oh, okay. Wait, what do you want? Why are you so close to me? Hey, buddy. I, I can actually man. go behind him. Wait, I heard his voice. Crap. Was the voice? Yeah. It, it was very You're rough. Batman. You're Batman. It's me. Batman. Daniel, the sexist. Excuse me. I kill. I kill. Who are you? <laughs> you're sexist. I'm the guy who hates sexist. Why am I sexist? If you're sexist, I'm killing you. <laughs> because you skipped over me. Yeah. No, I wasn't. <laughs> it's not what I wanted no, like to one do. Minute, worth. What's wrong with you? I just think this is... Fine, let's leave this conversation. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> I was informed of the situation and came as quickly as possible. So how did you arrive yeah, and inspect the body before me? Yeah, you're sexist. Faraday requested for me to testify in the trial. Plain and simple. Jesus Christ, how many packs of sm how many packs of smoke cigarettes do you <laughs> smoke a day? Smoke <laughs> weed every day. Mr. Faraday requested that you be here? Yeah, I'm Batman. Sexist. I have a con under contact HQ about the situation. Alfred's on the case. But he died. Died last time, so never mind. No, I've got uh, nothing to say to you, kid. I thought. Wasn't that Jason who died? Hmm. Wasn't it Jason who died? No, in the in the last case, the guy looked like Alfred. He was a butler, right? Oh. Uh. Oliver. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I've got nothing to say to you, kid. Jesus Other than Christ. I'm not Bruce Wayne. I'm not Bruce Wayne. Kid, I'm Mr. Faraday's substitute in today's trial. Therefore, I insist that you update me on the situation. Shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. I can't back down <laughs> here. I have a right to know. I don't need to teach you a thing or two about how to stalk and do it all skin. Is he threatening me? Edgeworth, you're I'll very... I'll kill you. <laughs> you're very dense. I'm gonna get my gun out, you bitch. Is he going for his gun? You're gonna fucking die. What? Uh. It's uh. just... I thought it was a lollipop. I thought it was a weenie. <laughs> I thought it was a weenie. <laughs> It's just a mirror. How dare he trick me like that? Uh, Faraday was uh, stabbed to death with some kind of blade. And he had a gun in his hand. The other man, a mackerel, was shot and killed. They shot and killed a fish? Uh, he was found holding a bloody knife in his hand. Just like the bloody knife that killed my parents. <laughs> was there anyone else who went to the defendant's lobby number two? Uh, the, the, the... Yeah, that big lug over there. His name is Gumshoe. Hey, it's me! He was in charge of guarding the place, but he's a fucking idiot. He's claiming that no one else entered the room. If that's the case, then they must have killed each other, correct? A Mexican yeah, standoff. maybe. Maybe. Such impudence. This guy is really testing my patience. But I'm Batman. Why was I not informed that you were going to testify in court? Because I'm Batman. I'm a side to have my only gig. The Addy Garassi case is one of my only assignments. Hmm. So you were called upon to comment on the Yatagarasu's characteristics in order to assess if Mr. Faraday was really at the Yatagarasu or not? Well, well. Looks like you may have a brain in that head of your son. Yeah. All in that head. Yes, son. unlike you. It's a son. I'm not your son, Pops. You're I'm my Robin. Son. You're Robin. I'm Batman. All right, now, no. now see here. I'm not sexist. Do you know about um, the Joker? I'll be because of that. Sorry. Wow. Joker, Batman. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we've dealt with Batman, we've dealt with Joker, we dealt with um, Alfred. No, we're just missing well, the uh, nice. Alfred, uh, <laughs> Master Joker Raid. If, if we down. have a Nightwing, if we have a Nightwing, I'm pulling on my Star Trek cosplay. I I'm not joking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do you okay. have a minute? You know, I'm not really talking to people I don't know. Stranger danger. Especially at a time like this. So how do you talk to your clients? I don't. <laughs> no wonder you always lose. Ah, I apologize for not introducing myself before bothering you. Edgeworth has no social skills. My name is Robert <laughs> Edgeworth. I was to take place. I was to take Mr. Faraday's place in court. Edgeworth, huh? Never heard of you. So Faraday's substitute is a newbie, huh? Uh, I'll have you know, Madame, that I've studied under Manfred von Karma. So, no, no, no. Oh, it's okay. he, did he did it. He did it. Do not take me for some naive novice. Huh. <laughs> 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 not take me for a, a 
the eve novice? Dead giveaway. <laughs> Stop right there. These are the garments of one who gallantly presents the facts. <laughs> oh, thanks for the great laugh. Um, just try not to make me laugh so much, okay? I wasn't trying to do anything of the sort. <laughs> just kidding. I was just goofing around. By the way, do you know who I am? My name is Salich Calistio Yo. Celestia. 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 Celestia sounds like Celestia. a nicer name. Yeah, yeah. Wait, well, what's her name actually? What's her name actually? Callisto. Uh, Callisto. Callisto. Yao. 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 Callisto. Yao. And if you're telling the truth, then we are about to go head to head to court. Ah, but of course. I have heard, I have heard much about you, Monsieur Yao. <laughs> I'm sorry, but your British accent is just so dumb. Yes. But of course, of course, I've heard of you about much of your uh, Shakespeare. You're original. Did I say something funny? Yeah, um, you are funny. Your face. Your funny look. Funny how? <laughs> I'd like you to update on your situation. Mom. I don't really know anything. Why don't you try talking to those detectives over there? If that's the case, then why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's so funny? It's just the way you speak is so tactless. The person I was going against in court until only a little ago, or the, the person I was going oh, against a little while ago was just murdered. Wow, good job. It's not that I can go back into the courtroom pretending as for nothing happened. Th that's a good point. I apologize for asking such an insensitive question. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Miss you. There is someone here who wishes to see you. Huh, who is it? A Kodopian embassy staff member by the name of Mani Kochen. Mani Kuchiman? Kuchiman. What? What? What's going on? Detective Bad and Miss Hughes moods. No. Detective Bad and Miss Hughes moods just moods just changed all of a sudden. I'm so glad I'm not gonna be the one reading her name out. Wait a second. <laughs> Wasn't Mani Kochen? I'll be right there. Who takes this guy? Not me. <laughs> you take him, Daniel. Okay. It's nice to see you again, Miss You. Yo. Why are you here? I have no desire to see you ever again. Now, now. Actually, would you mind stepping outside for a brief chat? Hmm. <laughs> Fine, let's go. Oh, who's that ugly man? Oh, yeah, it's from Karma. I didn't expect him to be what so heck? short. Uh, it is me. Ah, ah, ah. It is me, bad. You are... Get good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is it? What is it? No, I'm just calling you bad. <laughs> uh, Karma, it's been a long time. <laughs> I knew you would show up, uh, but you're not in costume. Uh, uh, uh. You actually usually do when the Yatakaras who's involved. I see this case is no exception. Uh, uh, uh. Do you know Detective Bad, sir? Yes, I killed his parents. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing it! He's doing it! He's doing it! <laughs> yes, so he's old bloodhound that never leaves the scene of the crime. Ah, ah, ah. If only we'd get a promotion and move on. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, you killed my parents. It's the scene of the crime where Detective Bad is useful and effective. Well, it's not like I don't know that, and I never kill anyone's parents. Moving on, though, Bad. The name that I, the man that I just passed by. Was he- was he not the suspect in the KG-8 incident? So I was right. Just what- just what is the man- man- the man doing wandering around here? Ha <laughs> That Faraday. I can't believe he let such an easy catch get away, imbecile! I would have proved his guilt in three minutes! Ha <laughs> Why does it sound sus, Manfred? 
Von Karma, I think you've said enough for now. I'll fucking shoot you. It's important I speak like that about the departed. What the hell is going on here? I'm very well. Back on topic. I'm placing Edward with the judge of the investigation here. <gasps> Yo! How did you pop the ball? How can you place him in charge? Franziska, <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm here for the summer vacation. What else? Franziska von Karma. So she is here on vacation from Germany. She's the daughter of Manfred von Karma, who is a, and a student of his, who is also junior to me. You're, uh, you're the one who is a junior to me, so don't you forget it. Did you read my mind? You're not conveniently avoiding the bar examination, are you? <gasps> if you are able to pass, then I'll have absolutely no trouble at all. I'll never allow myself to lose to you. Never! Why does she always have to be this competitive? She's a stage kid. Anyway, Papa, are you really signing Miles Edward to cover this case? Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, yes I am. Why do you ask? Uh, but, 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 well, you know, I'm close to becoming a prosecutor myself. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, and I'm 100% uh, confident that I can do a better job than him. Hold on, uh, uh, uh. hold on, hold on. I, I love how much, like, her voice is going to be like this when she grows old. Uh -huh. But right now it's like, Papa! <laughs> You're 13, Franziska. Shut the fuck up. Well, yeah, that's why I became a <laughs> prosecutor, and you're 19. Uh, yes, 19 is still older than 13. That's just Yeah, like but I'm better than you, because I'm younger and better. <laughs> she has no problem bad-mouthing someone in right in front of them. Bad. Uh-oh. I just like calling you bad. <laughs> Yeah. Shut the fuck up. These two have been conducting the, these two will be in, conducting the investigation. <laughs> what? The fuck you say to me? You wanna let both these kids loose on the crime scene? That's really stupid. No no no! You're stupid. Very smart. This is a perfect opportunity for them to work on their prosecutorial skills. Call them the Teen Titans. Oh my god! The crime scene is not a place for children to be messing around with. Can I be cyborg pal? Can I be Robin? <laughs> I'm Robin. <laughs> I am the one with the authority over the crime scene, band. <laughs> and I will not tolerate complaining. Uh, uh, fuck you. Edward, Francisca, I leave this case to you. <laughs> Understood, sir. Yes, Papa. Eating uh, sugar. Uh, uh. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa. I go take care of the paperwork now. Uh, you got an Indian accent all of a sudden. To a band. Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa. I disown both my children because I don't care about them. Remember, I accept nothing but the perfect report from the two of you. Do not disappoint me. Uh, uh, uh. Bye bye. Oh, why, why is my shoulder hurting as well? Hold on, Von Karma. I still have not agree to this. I'm Batman. <laughs> what the heck? Don't whip me. No, listen to me, Miles Edgeworth. It's been quite some time, Franziska. This would be the perfect chance for us. To see which of us is truly worthy of the Von Karma name. Would it kill you to at least say hello? Ugh! Um, long time no see, I guess. Very good. Just because you became a prosecutor first, does not mean you can act all proud. <laughs> but I'm older than you. I can do a better British action than you. Wait, why did I open the organizer? <laughs> I think I can check something. She hasn't changed a bit. And the only thing that changed seven was years, my whip. Six years later, she still hasn't. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing that changed was her whip. Yeah. Miles Edward. As if I was saying, uh, we shall see which one of us is worthy of the Von Karma name. For crying out loud, I've been reduced to a babysitter. Uh, motherfucker. Us. I got three children over here. It looks three like Mr. Children. Von Karma was just what successful the heck, in convi- <laughs> just really <laughs> man. Convincing the detective. That's just like him. He never fails. Now, I'd appreciate it if you could quickly run me through the facts, Detective Bad. You're better off checking things out on your own. W very well. <laughs> Seems like getting help from Detective Bad will be a most arduous task. <laughs> 